Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are going to be doing a new series. Uh, it's going to be called either 1000 Gamer Score or um, Completed. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. Uh, completed sounds a little weird because it's not like fully completing a game. It's just getting all 1000 Gamer Score or all the Gamer Score total. Uh, not that I do this all that often. I don't have that many fully completed games, but I do want to try to tr get games fully completed here in the future. Uh, and the first game is actually Monopoly. A friend brought, bought this for me. They've been playing it couple of my friends have been playing it uh, about every night just as like a chill wind down game before we all hop off. Um, and I was able to snag all the achievements but one so far so I will need to go ahead and grab the last one which is pull position which is just simply be the first player to start. Uh, and I'll go ahead and boost this here in this episode and show me completing the game. And that's simply what this is going to be. I'm going to show me completing the game and then I'll talk a little bit about... Um, I'll talk a little bit about the difficulty of the game and all of that different stuff, but this is Monopoly Plus. Uh, it goes for $15 on the Xbox One currently. Uh, it's fun as a group, like, I'm not sure I'd buy this for the gamer score. It's pretty easy, 1,000, but it's not too bad. The achievement difficulty, I would say, without boosting, if you wanted to just do it 100% legitly and didn't boost your um, some of the achievements, I would give it like a 5 out of 10. Uh, some being more luck than skill. There's one for getting uh, a card of every color, and so that's one of the harder achievements if you do not boost it, but you can simply boost that achievement with yourself and put every property for, up for auction uh, that gets landed on better with six players, and it's pretty easy. Uh, and that's about the hardest achievement. Pull position would just be a matter of time uh, until you got it if you played enough games. And other than that, there aren't too many. There's one for completing two trades in one go, which that's a pretty hard... Uh, or co completing two sets in one trade. There we go. Uh, color sets in one trade, which can actually be pretty hard uh, if you do not uh, boost it or have someone willing to trade it uh, with you, uh, like friends, like you were like... Um, make a little bit little bit different deals not as simple deals as just you know okay one for ones or they have to be perfectly fair trades it's a little hard to pull off to complete two sets uh which is pretty annoying but um it is achievement easily boosted but either by yourself or with friends uh like i said i do enjoy monopoly this isn't this wasn't bought oops this wasn't bought just for the gamer score uh, a friend actually bought it for me so that we could play uh because i didn't I didn't honestly want to spend 15 bucks on Monopoly. Uh, I probably would have, but he hit me up with the with a $20 code uh, before I could even really think about buying it. Uh, so that was that was really nice to him. Shout out to Mac for buying me this. But uh, it is the first completed game for this uh, series. Like I said, if you boost the achievements, the difficulty is about a 2 out of 10. Uh, I would say if you do this legitly, uh, it would take you maybe 20 hours of gameplay which would be approximately 10 games, which isn't too bad. Uh, and if you played with friends, could be pretty fun uh, and is not too taxing. If you boost this, you can get it in two games, uh, which is not too bad. And there is the final achievement, though. Uh, we'll just roll the dice here for a little bit as I finish up talking about this. Uh, so if you boost it, I would say it can take you two games in approximately an hour, which isn't too bad. An hour is pretty darn quick to get a thousand G's, and it's one of the easier games I've played for Gamer Score. We'll take a look at the achievements now and wrap this first episode up. Let's go take a look at my achievements. I've got 160,000 Gamer Score right now. I'm pretty happy with that. It's not anything crazy, but I am happy with my Gamer Score. Um, obviously, all 100% legit and done while putting hours and hours into other games and you can see with two, two games online that weren't focused on getting achievements um it took me five hours and 27 minutes to complete this game and here are the achievements the final one being pull position which is kind of funny that that was the final achievement for me uh get one property of, of each color like i said is pretty hard uh, collect rent on your first turn is pretty hard uh the best way to get that is to set up six players um roll the dice auction it off to your account and then um, just hope that somebody lands on it. It's not too hard. Win a six-player game in local, multi local multiplayer. 
Uh, you would think it's hard because only 3% of gamers have this, but all you have to do is fire that up. Uh, you can use one controller for six players. You don't need six controllers or six phones with Smart Glass. Uh, and then the rest of these, pretty darn easy. Uh, complete two color sets in one trade, like I said, is one of the more difficult achievements in my opinion. Uh, see the bank run out of houses, that's just completely dependent on your game and who you're playing with and whether or not you get houses or you get um, hotels. Uh, but guys, that's going to do it for the first completed episode. That's 100% in Monopoly. The next game that I'm looking at fully completing is Final Fantasy XV. As you can see, I only have four more <laughs> achievements that I need to get for it. Wherever Final Fantasy... Where is Final Fantasy XV? There it is. So I'll just need to finish it up. As you can see, I have the most time played, and I have the most of everything in this game, except for the character levels. Um... I had, or I guess distance walked, I'm not gold, and neither monsters defeated, but photo photographs, mileage, gill, time played, I am gold, and the last four achievements that I need for this are pretty darn simple. Reach a maximum fishing level, reach a maximum survival level, reach a maximum cooking level, and beat uh, that boss, the secret boss, I forget his name, the, the giant mountain, uh, which... That will be the next set of achievements that I need to finish up. I don't know if there's anything else that I'm really close to 1000ing, I guess Dark Souls, maybe. Um, but there's not really anything close in sight. Fallout Shelter is what I'm currently working on finishing up, but that's still a ways away. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in my next video and hopefully a completed video here in the future. Peace out! Down from the heights that we